Hey there, so this video is going to be useful if you are a beginner in cloud or have just started out in cloud and or you've been working or for quite few years in cloud but have not yet been certified and I'm going to focus today is on Azure cloud and how you can get hold of a free training which I'm doing with a Microsoft certified expert on Azure as a beginner or anyone who's just starting out in cloud be it Oracle cloud, Microsoft cloud, uh, Microsoft Azure Cloud or Amazon AWS Cloud. So beginners, what needs to be done? And I'm going to tell you a little bit later about uh, this, how you can get hold of this free session that I'm holding or hosting. Uh, but to give you some context about uh, this, where, what's happening and why it's coming. Um, so I've been working on Oracle Cloud now for quite a few years and we are implementing this cloud, Oracle Cloud for a lot of our customers. We have a lot of trainings. And I've been certified on a lot of Oracle Cloud training uh, certifications, be it OCI Associate, which is 101072, or uh, OCI uh, Professionals 997, or for DBS Autonomous Database 10931, uh, or uh, uh, 998, and a lot of other certifications. I've already done that. But last year, what Oracle announced was a um, integration with Microsoft, uh, where Microsoft Cloud and Oracle Cloud have been integrated or uh, there, there's a interconnect between these two clouds. So customers can implement or run uh, their applications on Azure Cloud and data, uh, databases on Oracle Cloud. So you get best of breed, which is called as a multi-cloud. Now, since then, from last uh, probably six months or so, we started getting a lot of for implementation. We do a lot of implementation work as well for cloud migration. And we started uh, seeing a lot of requests for uh, the Azure cloud implementation. And this is when in 2020, I made a mission to complete three certifications. Or I started with two certifications. In 2020, one was AZ-103. And which is for administrator and a new version has or about to come uh, maybe this week or or, or it will be uh, it might have come uh, which is AZ104 which is for administrators and then second was about solution architect which is AZ300 or series which is AZ301 and 302 or 300 301 that series so i thought of i made a mission to do that i do these certifications in 2020 and i've already uh, started working on um, AZ103, which is as your administrator, ad, administrator, and some of you guys are already working with me on that certification. And my mission is that next 90 days I'll be doing the certification. So that's something which I'll talk a little bit later or maybe some in future time, my journey on that. Uh, but while I was doing that certification or preparing for that certification, uh, then I realized that, hey, I should have started with this one more certification, which is uh, for beginners, AZ900, which is for Azure administrators. And we see now a lot of demand for Azure administrators, uh, including me. We are doing a lot of work for customers and my team. We thought we need to be implementing this or we need to be learning and being, becoming certified. Uh, so I started looking back and I thought, hey, I'm doing AZ301, but, uh, or sorry, 103, but uh, I should be also doing AZ900, uh, which is a beginner. Uh, so I then engaged uh, with Microsoft professional expert, uh, whom I've invited for doing a free masterclass and I'm learning with this uh, on, on that certification. So my next 30 days mission is to clear first AZ900, which is the first thing you should be doing as being any certification for Azure Cloud, be it Azure Administrator, which is uh, 100 series, 103, 104, or DevOps series, which is, uh, I think it's up uh, 200 or 400. I, I don't remember exactly. But then also Azure Solution Architect, which is 300 series, or you go for security professional, anything you do. So I'm hosting this free class with um, on how to get started with cloud, be it any cloud, but we'll focus on Azure Cloud because I see a lot of demand. And if you're at Oracle DB or if you've been working on Oracle, also it's good to have the multi-cloud knowledge where you know more than just one cloud. So we'll cover a lot of things in a one, one hour session. Uh, so the URL to register is k2academy.com forward slash AZ9002. So AZ stands for Azure, AZ900 is the certification number and 02 number. So k2academy.com forward slash AZ9002. Seats are limited. So depending on when you're watching that, there might be a wait list or there might be, we might be having this session or registration might be open. 
Uh, so we get our seats filled very, very quickly. We have 100 seats uh, last time on, on live sessions. Uh, usually 500, 600 students register for these sessions in past, which I've done. So make sure the, you register. And if you attend that live session, then make sure you join probably around 10, 15 minutes before that, before the live session. So that's about the session. Uh, free masterclass. Now, what I want you to do, tell me is in the comment is number one, um, uh, if you are just starting out in cloud or if you don't have the certification AZ900, then leave a comment and also tell me what's stopping you or why you have not been yet certified. And I'll tell you my reason in a minute. And then num type number two, if you are already certified on AZ900 or any other certification, uh, then leave a number on or that what certification you have in Azure and what one tip you want to give to those who are planning to do the certification. Now, in my case, I'll tell you, uh, I've been thinking about Azure 900 for quite some time now, but then every time I do it, I think, oh, there's more to learn. There's more to learn. And I, uh, I suffer because of perfection. I know now, I, I know already know that perfection is myth. I'll never be able to do 100%, but I want to progress. And that's where I get involved uh, with Microsoft Expert, Microsoft Certified Trainer, which will, will, will bring you in, in, in the class. You'll see, and I'm learning uh, and doing the certification. So my objective for next 30 days is to clear the certification, report back if I managed to do it, not managed to do it, why I didn't do it, if I did it, how I did it. Uh, so if you're interested on that journey with me,